boom. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Think about it. What is the difference between frequency and period? Yesterday we had the lab and we talked about these two things. Another question for you. In 2011, can you believe that was almost 10 years ago now? Um, an earthquake in Japan started a tsunami that went all the way across the Pacific Ocean to California. Yeah, and it did some damage at some of the harbors, especially up in Eureka in Northern California. Yikes. Hopefully you know where Japan is. Hopefully you know where the Pacific Ocean is. Hopefully you know where California is. Okay. Um, what traveled from Japan to California when the tsunami came? That did all that damage. What was it that went across the ocean? What was it? Okay, an earthquake near Santa Cruz. We know where that is. Uh, knocked over buildings 50 miles away in San Francisco. What knocked down the buildings? Yep, it's <clears throat> what went from Santa Cruz to San Francisco. Was it the earthquake? Well, the earthquake was in Santa Cruz. Okay, so what's going on here? Okay, so waves transfer energy from one place to another. Uh, so what was actually causing all that destruction 50 miles away? Well, it's, it's energy, right? The energy that's, that's transferred. That's being transferred. Now notice it way. says flag down here. Grab the spring. The spring right here? Yeah. And bring it over here. Da, 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 da. And make some waves in the, in the spring. Oh. Look what the flag's doing. She's moving the flag and she's not touching it. What's so the wave takes, no. takes energy from her hand and takes it down to where the flag is and makes the flag wave. Yes, yes, okay, so energy is being transferred. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Mechanical waves are, are are disturbances traveling through some medium. Yeah, so this is a definition. This is a bottom line big idea here. Now, just to be clear, um, when we say medium, um, we're not talking, we're talk, we are talking about um, energy traveling through the medium, which is the slinky. Yep, yep, okay. spring, or uh, if you can hear our voices, you're, that is carried by waves and through the air, the medium is the air. <laughs> All the stuff around me, right? That's right. Wait. Oh, hey, buddy. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, oscillate to swing or move regularly back and forth. It's like some fans have an oscillation thing where it goes yeah. back and forth. Okay. Not to be confused with oscillate. To what kiss. is that? What does that mean? <laughs> to kiss. Your oscular, oscular muscles? Yeah. Oscular? Um, transverse waves oscillate perpendicular to the direction of travel. And we saw this in the lab yesterday. Okay. And let's go ahead and take a look at this guy. It's a particular type of wave, and this is important. Oh, wait, pause, sorry. Okay, uh, we want to go free, loose end. Oh, no, sorry. Uh, no end. No end, there we go. And then oscillate, ready, ready? Do you see how it is traveling perpendicular? Oh, wait, wait. Waves oscillate perpendicular to the direction of travel. So the wave is traveling that way, right? Yeah, and the thing is going up and down and up and down. Yeah, it's perpendicular. Okay. Yep. All right, let me pause this bad boy. Pause. Okay. And let's rock and roll. All right. Well, oh, actually, let's do, let's show them on this too, right? All right. And yesterday in lab, you guys saw this, right? If we're going to be traveling, uh, if we're going to do a transverse wave, it's going to look something like this. Right. Okay, so she moved her hand. All right. Can you guys see that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, for sure can see that. Okay. So that is what a transverse wave looks like. A longitudinal wave oscillates um, parallel to the direction of the travel. For example, this is the classic example of a longitudinal wave is sound. Sound, and we'll spend a whole unit on sound. Oh, okay. So here is. Um, we're gonna go ahead, these are longitudinal waves, and you can kind of think about this like a slinky. Okay, so uh, we've got some pulling and some squeezage here, right? And you can see that the energy, um, the wave is traveling parallel, we're pulling and, and squeezing right here, and it's traveling parallel to the Yeah, this, this line right here pull. is just going back and forth. Oh, push and pull, there we go. Back That's and good. forth, push and pull, and it squeezes together, and then it stretches apart. So 
squeeze, stretch, mm -hmm. squeeze, stretch. And the squeeze is called a compression. That compression travels. Mm -hmm. And the stretch is called a rarefaction. <laughs> and that stretch cha travels as well. Now, we're, we're, we're oscillating here. I really like that they've got these red, this red and this green. Because what do you notice? The wave, it's not just traveling. The red, the red isn't just traveling down, right, all nope. the way through. It's staying where it is. We just have pulling and pushing, squeezing and stretching. What, what did we say? Uh, Rare, rare fraction. Rare refraction. Yeah. It's like, like Scooby-Doo. Sco that's right, Scooby-Doo. <laughs> oh, I love Scooby-Doo. So, and so it's the work is being done here on this end, moving mm -hmm. back and forth, squeezing Ooh, and stretching, and that sends energy through the string. We can do that on the Ooh. slinky and the... Yes, we can. Okay. Ooh, work. What is the, the equation for working on a force? Force times mm -hmm. displacement in the direction of the force. Get up here. All right, all right. And here we go. Boink. And back again. Right? So that happened kind of quickly. Yeah, I should have. Yeah, one more time. I'll pull it back slowly, let go. And so that send a, sent a compression pulse, but you can do the same thing by pulling on it. Pull on it. Right here? Yeah. Oops. Okay, now you let go. Oh, you, oh, you, oh, you already just pull on it? Just hold, and hold yeah, on. you're going to have to wait because now. <laughs> Sorry. All right, now oh. pull on it. All right, here, let go. Mr. Boykin's gonna do it. So you can send a pulse by pulling on it, or I, if you pull on oh, it. Oh, I see, I see. A sharp the pull there. there. Yeah. And, and that travels through the slinky. And what's the man do <clears throat> uh, Longitudinal waves, they oscillate, just like transverse waves, parallel to the direction of travel. Yeah. Boom. I think we nailed that. You guys got it, right? Okay, when you were making waves, what could you control and what could you not control? Now think about yesterday's lab that we did, not you guys, sorry, when, when we were making waves yesterday in lab. Um, what could we control? What could we control? Well, well, your hand. Yeah, like how fast we were moving it, right? Yep. So uh, so we could we could control uh, the how, how fast my hand goes. Um, what could we not control? Um, we couldn't control how fast the, the wave was going, the velocity or speed of the wave, could we? Well, we went from eight meters to four meters. Okay. And eight meters, the wave went faster. Mm -hmm. And at four meters, it went slower. But once you're at that particular place, you can't control how fast the wave went. You can only control how fast your hand goes. Okay, that, okay I'm starting to see this. Okay, so the speed of a wave is determined by the properties of the medium carrying the wave, not by your hand. So you can show that with a spring over here. Okay, so let's see. So right now I'm holding the slinky here. And um, did, did you send Just pulses? send one pulse. Yeah, okay, so check out the, um, the speed of my wave there, right? Okay. Okay, I'll do it one more time. Okay, Down and back. Now down what, and back All right what happens when i change the properties of this medium how can i change the properties of the medium my slinky you could stretch it tighter yeah so put a little more tension on it right so now i'm here okay so now back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth so a lot faster yeah right and so the speed of a wave is determined by the properties of the medium carrying not my hand i flick my hand at the same at the same you know at the same amount right times Okay, so the only thing that can change the speed like that is if you change the properties of the medium. It's like tuning a guitar. Have you ever tuned oh, a guitar? Yeah. If you uh, I listen to uh, my dad tune it, I'm like, ooh. <clears throat> You've got the tuners that tighten and loosen the string, and if you tighten the string, the wave goes faster. If you loosen mm -hmm. the string, it goes slower. Of course, you hear a different pitch, here, here, but we'll get to that eventually. Okay, let's see, I've got that part done. And then you guys all know our lovely equation, speed is distance over time. And we did this yesterday on the lab. We mm -hmm. took eight meters divided by how much time it took and four meters divided by how much time it took. And that's how fast the wave went. So let's talk about frequency. Uh, you should already have this definition down somewhere in your notebook. Add this to your definition. Frequency is how frequently a new wave uh, is produced by a source how fast you moved your hand. 
zero period started. <laughs> um, so we won't, let's think about clapping. So I'm at, I'm at uh, this would never happen, of course, but if I was, I, I was at a, a Golden Valley theater production and I wasn't really, you know, the performance was okay. You know, that would never no, happen. Be Merced High School Merced, Theater. Yeah, production. yeah, and you know, this is me, my frequency, you know, uh, you're not clapping. My hands are moving. They're not, not going very fast. You're right? not clapping very frequently. That's the sarcastic <laughs> clap right there. Now we go to Golden Valley and we watch their amazing. Oh, I loved the um, the uh, Little Mermaid production you guys did, or the House of Horrors one. So, anyways, at the end of those those productions, bravo, bravissimo. Right, yep. and so my frequency there, the claps per uh, how many claps per uh, second that I'm doing is faster. Yep. Right. And so that is frequency. This it's is. how frequently you clap your hands together. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the frequency doesn't change as the wave travels. Yep, the frequency is established by the source. And you're, if you're making, we wish we were here, you wish we were playing with a slinky yourself, but uh, you determine the frequency. Mm -hmm. um, were we going to show them that? Not yet? The, no, not yet. Uh, the, um, the fat thing for that? I can't oh. remember. Should we do that? Yeah, we could do that. I can't, I didn't, I didn't write that on there. Um, but we can, uh, oh yeah, we, we were talking about this. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna just push, re, I'm gonna push refresh here and we're gonna oscillate and we'll go, oh, pff. he said, sorry. No end and then we'll oscillate here. Now, if I want the frequency to be high, it looks like that. Oh, that's kind of like what we saw in the lab when they move their hand fast. Yeah, and then when they go slow, well, let me give them a little bit of frequency here. I'm going to put it like right there. So that's, that's, that was like when Steph first started off, and I'm like, so come it's, on. <laughs> it's going back and forth, not very frequently. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, so that is And what does frequency. it say? It says, well, we'll ignore the numbers. It says yeah. 0.81 there. Go to the other end. Uh, oh, 0.81, and this is? Three. Three. Okay, so think about those claps. And the frequency produces different looking waves. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm gonna pause that right there. Okay, on to my next one. So the frequency doesn't change as the wave travels. Uh, okay, so the units of frequency, cycles per second, just like we said, claps per second. Okay, yep. um, cycles per second. All right, get that down, on to the next. Okay, period. What period is it? It's zero period right now. We got 39 more minutes left. Um, so period is the time it takes for one cycle. Yep. And so I always think about it, how many seconds we have in our class period. How many seconds we have per period, seconds per cycle. Well, if you, uh, if you look at a class period in terms of seconds, it takes forever. I know, we, uh, maybe you got minutes. <laughs> maybe don't count your seconds. That's right. Um, so. Uh, and it's sim the period is symbolized by the capital letter T. Yes. Now let's go back to our clapping here. So I have a low frequency here, right? Yep. You're not clapping very frequently. Now tell me about the time it's taking uh, between one cycle compared oh. for this compared to. Yeah. So the time between each clap here is long. Yep. Right. And the time between each clap here is. The, the slow one was more than one second mm -hmm. per cycle, and the fast one was less than one second per cycle. Okay, how, what are we saying here? How can we talk about this? There is a relationship between the period, the time to each my claps, and the, uh, the frequency. And it's an inverse relationship. The period is the inverse of the frequency. So, when I was cla clapping more frequently, the amount of time between my claps was less. Yeah. Right? Yeah. When I my frequency was less, the time between my claps was more. Yeah. Okay. Um, but ultimately, uh, we're going to be utilizing this equation, manipulating this equation in order to figure out uh, the period or the frequency. Yep. It's simple. It's very simple. Um, okay. So, uh, oh, this is important. It takes, takes two things, two things. <clears throat> uh, to draw a wave. Okay, so here we go. That's a wave, right? Yeah. What two things do I have control? Well, not do I have control over. Well, here. you didn't stay in the same place. I didn't. You so, had to move your feet. Okay, so my feet were moving. So yeah. it took two, it takes two things. The first one is that I have to move my feet, 
And the second one is that I have to move my arm up and down. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And so um, we could do this a couple different ways. I'm gonna go down here um, and I will do, um, okay, moving my hand faster. And the feet were about the same. About the same. She's trying to make it about, Miss Moore's trying to make it about the same. And then what about if I go, oh, that wasn't a very good one. <laughs> I tried to speed up as I was going through. Okay, Miss Moore's gonna go fast, ready? Okay. And you can see how those all look different, right? Yeah. So there's two things. I'm going to erase this top one here. There's two things. Two well, why, why don't you erase, erase them all yeah. and do another one? And I'm going to tell you, this is the old man here. The key to this is using your elbow. Elbow. It's using your elbow. Keep your shoulders still and just move your elbow. Uh, keep your, oh, just like that thing. That oscillating thing, right? Keep oh, like your this? shoulder, you're moving your shoulder, girl. Shoulder still, all in the elbow. It's like all this, in the right? elbow. So move your elbow up and down and walk. There you go. What? Look at that. Those, that's, a great, <laughs> that's a great sine wave right there. Like See, it's all in the elbow. Okay, so uh, that's, a, that's a long sine wave. See if you can do that on your paper, ladies and gentlemen. No. Okay, well, so. Yeah, go ahead, try it. <laughs> so it's it takes two idea. things to draw the wave. Um, Let's see what we have here. Uh, let me go back over here. Um, so we've got how fast you can move your hand and how fast you move your feet. How fast you move your hand is the frequency. That's yes. the frequency. And then what do y'all think moving your, what our walking is? That's, our how, that's speed. your walking speed, that's yeah. your velocity. That's gonna be our velocity. So um, those are the two things and the, uh, that we uh, need to draw our wave here. Yeah. Okay, so let's go ahead and make some, um, do some labels. Um, so first thing is, actually I'm gonna, I'm gonna do crest. So the crest is gonna be... The top. Yeah, these top parts right here, I got a lot of them. And then our troughs are gonna be the bottom. Kind of like a horse trough. Horse trough, yeah. Crest and yeah. trough, so you gotta know your wave plot parts. Okay, and then back to this equilibrium. So the equilibrium is just gonna be this middle part, the middle part right here. Yeah, equilibrium is where the slinky would be if there are no waves in it. So that's equilibrium right there. And that's what this line is. And that's what this definition says. The position of the undisturbed medium. Look how undisturbed that slinky is. It's just chilling, it's it just hanging chilling. out. It's just hanging out, okay. Um, amplitude. Uh, amplitude is a wave's maximum displacement from equilibrium. So how far you moved your hand. Okay, I'm gonna draw in an, an amplitude here. So here's an amplitude and here's an amplitude. Yep. And it's and the here, distance here. from equilibrium. It's not, not from crest to trough. It's the maximum displacement from equilibrium. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna send do a very small one two three four five six seven eight that's very small equilibrium and then here's a I beg your pardon small amplitude and then one two three four five six seven eight larger Whoa. equilibrium <laughs> okay so that there's a there is a difference here yeah so the amplitude the size of the bump which you guys just saw Mr. Boykin did the little bumps and then big bump right yeah. Um, the amplitude of a wave is proportional to the energy it carries. Okay, so, um, and then it says you applied a force through a distance. We did work on that sucker, right? That's right. And, right? What? and when we moved it just a little bit, Mr. Boyd, you want to move it a little bit again? How no, you go it? ahead and do okay. it. Okay, so when we moved it just a little bit here, right, we're just moving our hand, oh, oops, okay, um, uh, a, a force through a small displacement, right? Yep. Now, when we went like this, now we're moving it through a big displacement. So the force is through a larger displacement, more work, more energy, larger Ooh. amplitude. Oh. Okay, so more work, work changes energy. Energy is proportional to the amplitude. Yep. Okay, you can see how all these physics concepts are stringing together here. Um, okay, wavelength um, is the distance a wave moves in one cycle and that is the greek letter lambda lambda 
Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put a little dot right here and right here. So here is one wavelength, right? Right here. Yeah. Now, this is also, oh, let me, so from here to there, right? Now, if I travel up here. That's also a wavelength. This is also a wavelength. And then let's go back here. Okay. Wait, where am I? Right here. Okay, that is also a wavelength. Yep. Right? So they're all one wavelength anywhere on there. Yep. Okay. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. So homework today, um, read 327 through 333. You may have looked at those pages already to uh, find your definitions. Go ahead and give them a real read this time. Um, and then if you need to finish up that springtime lab, take some time here to do that as well. All right. Okay.